Hello, welcome to this particular training on e-learning administration of online examination. This guide is meant for students to guide you through the e-learning process from the time you log into the website, how to change your password, how to download the user manual from the e-learning page, and also how to configure the safe exam browser, that is installation, configuration, and taking the examination. On the, dash, on the default page for the e-learning website, you will find the student manual, which has a detailed explanation on every aspect of the e-learning system. The student manual is in PDF. Uh, you can download it and uh, go through it at your own time. To log in into the e-learning, uh, you will use your admission number uh, as indicated on the page. The admission number is in uh, small letters and uh, no slashes. And the default password is either your passport number, your ID number, your birth certificate, or your waiting card number. That is similar to what you are currently using for your SMIS. So to log into the e-learning, you will click on the top uh, right-hand side uh, button, written login. Once you click on that, it will take you directly to the login page. On the login page, you'll supply your admission number and your password. In case you have forgotten your password, you will click on forgot uh, your username or password link on the same page. The page that will appear will ask you to either search by a username or by an email address. Uh, you should search by your username, that is your admission number, you simply put in your admission number and you click on search. The system will automatically send you an email. Uh, the email expires within uh, 30 minutes. So from the time you click on uh, send, if 30 minutes has expired, then the link will have expired also. So simply go back again to the same uh, page, supply the same information, and you'll be able to uh, receive a new token to reset your password. Once you have logged in, by supplying the correct credentials, the page that will appear will be your dashboard. On your dashboard on the left-hand side, it will show you the site home, the calendar, your private files, your content back, and all the courses that you're undertaking will be listed under my courses on the left-hand side. In the middle section of the dashboard, that will show will list for you the recent courses, all the courses you have accessed over the past uh, week or over the past few days. For example, for this particular training, all your examination will appear in your timeline, indicating when it is going to be available and when it is going to close. So ensure that you click on any of the activity on your dashboard and it will bring for you the particular page where you will be the instructions for, uh, for you to undertake that particular examination. Let me switch my role to a student so that uh, you'll be able to see uh, the same thing uh, that will be appearing on your dashboard once you come to do that particular examination component. When you click on any of your exams, this is what will appear. Uh, it will have uh, three instructions. The first one is download the safe exam browser. The second one is to launch safe exam browser. And the third one is to download configuration. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, it will open for you a link uh, for safe exam browser where you'll be able to download that particular safe exam browser. Kindly note that the safe exam browser is a bundled package. A bundled package simply means it has all the required files and all the required uh, configurations for it to, lo uh, to allow you to log in or uh, to undertake your exam. For Windows, you'll download the Safe Exam Browser 3.0. The package is about 165 MB, so you should have a stable internet connection for you to download that particular file. Once you have downloaded, uh, installation is a two-step process. 
whereby uh, you will open uh, the dialog box. In your download folder, you will find the SEB 3.0.163 uh, setup bundle. You click on it. The installation will start. If you have already installed it, you only require to install once. The other item you need to download is the configuration file. Once you have downloaded the configuration file, for Windows users, you will go to Start menu. You will click on SEB configuration tool. On the SEB configuration tool, you will click on the config tab. You will click on open settings. You will select where your file is. By default, it will be the first file in your download folder. You will uh, close the SCB configuration tool and then you will come and launch your exam. Once you launch your exam, uh, the self exam browser application, once it starts, your computer will no, you will not be able to do any other activity on that computer. Note that for you to access your phone, for which you want to use uh, to take pictures as the scanner, you need to install the drivers for your phone so that you'll be able to access it. Once the Safe Exam Browser launches the e-learning login page, you log in. Once you have logged in, it will take you directly to your exam that you're supposed to undertake. Once your exam has started, the time counter will appear on the right hand side, indicating how much time is remaining for you to complete that particular examination. There are three ways for you to upload a file. Uh, once you have uh, taken pictures or you have scanned your documents, there are three ways to upload them. The first file is by clicking on the link icon. It will bring for you the repository. You should click on browse and you click on upload a file. That is the first way to do the upload. The second way is by clicking on the image icon. It will still bring for you the repository and you'll be able to upload a file from there. The third one is by clicking on the icon file icon at the bottom. It will still bring for you the same pop-up menu and you'll still be able to select uh, from which drive you want to upload your file. It will list for you all the drives within your computer. If there are four drives, if there are five drives, you should be able to see your phone once you have installed the right drivers for them. And it will appear here and you'll be able to browse your phone and also select the file that you want to upload. Once you have selected the file you want to upload, you click on OK or select button and then you click on upload this file and then you'll be able to finish uh, your examination. Once you have uh, clicked on finish attempt, it will ask you, are you sure you want to submit and uh, finish? You click on submit and finish again to confirm. Once that is done, then you click on the right hand side to exit your safe browser. And you click on yes. And it will bring you back to your default, uh, the last page where you are at on the e-learning page. And uh, that is how you do the examination online. Thank you.